All right. What's up, guys? This is Brad with Spike Fitness. Yeah. Hanging out here at Train True. Train True. We're hanging out with the crew. Got. We're doing some. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing. This is this is exactly what's happening right now. We're doing some bench. Uh, did a little bit of dead up training earlier. Gonna hit some uh, some benching and uh, see what we can do with this. Get this set. Change your perspective. And that's where we're looking. We want that. Four or five. What you're seeing is us doing some uh, some bench training, and what we got here is this rogue setup. Daniel, what's this rogue rack called? It's called the West Side 2.0. All right, so this rack here is called West Side 2.0. What we have here is the monolift attachment, right? Yep. So it helps, you know, if you're uh, if you're if you're benching by yourself and you unrack, you know, this uh, rack swings away, right? So it's a way that if you don't have a spotter, you know, potentially you can kind of be trained by yourself, or at least it helps, you know, to train by yourself. And I, I don't know how maybe how some of you out there may feel, but I would much prefer just to have a spot, you know, so, but if, if that's not really an option for you, um, this might be something that would be a really good option. Uh, I'll be honest, I have a really hard time uh, getting used to it. I also find that the rack height that we're at right here that we're training on is a bit too low for me. So it's, it's kind of coming out low, so I would prefer to have the rack much higher. But even on, even on the highest setting, this only goes up, you know, another maybe two inches, which for me isn't quite high enough for like a full, uh, you know, for an easy unrack for myself to keep myself in position. So even with this particular setup, it's still kind of a necessity for me to have a, a lift off. So if you're a, if you're a bigger lifter, if you're you know six two, which I am, uh, if you're six two or you know, have kind of long arms. Um, this particular rack, this particular setup may not be super advantageous for you uh, for you know, your own benching purposes at home. Um, but however, if you were to use the monolith attachment on more of like a power rack setup, right? You know, you could definitely get some more uh, options in terms of rack height. So that might be something to consider. Um, it definitely, you know, if you're in between a rock and hard place and it's between having, you know, uh, no lift off and this, I would definitely prefer to have the monolift attachment, but um, given my own druthers, I would prefer to have the monolift attachment. Or, I mean, sorry, uh, I would prefer to have the actual lift off versus the monolift attachment um, on this particular rig. 
So just something to consider. If uh, you know, you're looking at doing a home gym or something like that, you wanna grab some equipment, just understand that this particular rack um, may not be the best, best setup for home gym. You wanna couple it with an actual power rack, which I think most people probably would do if you're, if you're doing home gym, you're probably just doing one, one big rack. Anyway, as you can see, benching. One more rep here. There we go. Another thing that I find is these J cups. Not that deep, right? So if you slam that weight back, there's a good chance that weight, that weight pops out. And then, you know, you end up kissing your weight. So, a couple things to consider when looking at, you know, utilizing this equipment. I, I believe that it's, it's better than not, especially if you don't have the option of a, uh, of a lift off but it's things that you probably should consider if this is something that you're looking at getting for yourself. Anyway, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the chat box below, I will respond. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys can help me with those likes, the shares, and the subs. Definitely helps grow the channel, and we've been growing like crazy, and I appreciate every one of you guys. Uh, remember guys, no matter what it is you think you can't do, train to spite, you're either gonna find an excuse, or you're gonna find a way. Appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.